What's up guys, Nerdy Neighbor, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2018 May The Bam Box. This just came in. Actually, I might have had it for like a week or so. It got shipped at the end of May. If you're interested in getting this box, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you get the tape and you open the box and you remove the tissue paper, this is what you're gonna see. More tissue paper. This is what you're gonna see. Oh, this box feels kind of empty. Although it's been a little bit empty the past few months anyways. All right, let's check it out. The first item that we have is a pin, and this is from G.I. Joe, I think. It says Go Joe, so that's what I'm gonna say. It's kind of like a ninja looking pin, it's very dark. It's dark and purple, I know it looks all black, but it's actually, I think, purple on it. This is made by artist Brian Romero. Yeah, so it's kind of like purple and black. Go Joe. I thought it was G.I. Joe, but it says Go Joe, so I don't know if that's from something different. Next, we have this really heavy coin. On one side, it says 200 on the house, and then on the other side, it says Lucky 38, so I'm sure that's in reference to something. This is a cool coin. It's very heavy, and it's metal, and it's good. I like this. I like coins for some reason, I'm not quite sure why. And then we have our two prints. We have this one, which is a Deadpool print, a Deadpool 2 print. It says, their biggest adventure hits the biggest screen IMAX. So, I don't know, this must be a fan art. Oh, it's signed by somebody. Oh, it's signed. So this is a picture, it's signed by Stefan, or Steven, I don't know how you say his name. Kapikik, Kapik, Kapisik who plays Colossus in Deadpool and Deadpool 2. So this is signed by the cool guy who plays Colossal. I actually like the cartoony like look of this. I don't know who made this picture, but here's his autograph. And there's the cert of authenticity with this picture. So there's an autograph, cool. And then, yes! This is what I've been waiting for. This is the, this is the third piece of artwork from the fan art collection and the Infinity War. So this, we've gotten two other ones. This is three of three. This is by Logan Pack. And I've just loved the, the actual artwork that we've been getting from this um, series of artwork. We got number 1373 out of 2000 and it's signed on the bottom. There's probably some kind of variant that you could get. I don't believe we got that, but I'm okay with it. I actually prefer the non-variant ones to be honest. And this one's really cool because you have Black Panther and Loki and Doctor Strange and Iron Spidey and I, I, it, Bucky. It just, I, and surprisingly, I actually, well, look, Ant-Man and the Wasp are here, but they're not really in Infinity Wars, I feel like. But Hawkeye was on one of them, too, and he wasn't in Infinity Wars either, so, you know, what are you going to do about it? But I do like that one a lot. And that is all the items in the box. Here is our recap card, so let's go and do some pricing and recap. Okay, so this is a Fallout New Vegas Lucky 38 Platinum Chip by Dark Matter Props. Fallout New Vegas. So is that like the game Fallout? Is there a new game of Fallout coming out? I'm not quite sure. But there's this coin, chip, platinum chip. I think this thing's cool. I don't know. It is technically, I don't know if it's licensed, but I know Dark Matter Props does a lot of like prop work. So I think you could give this thing like five to six or seven dollars maybe. I'd be comfortable giving it five. That might be a little bit low. I think six Let's do six, because it is pretty heavy. I don't remember how much we've been giving these things, but I think I would give this one $10, because it's it's artwork, which is usually $5, plus the, it's signed and numbered, so I'm gonna give that $10. We had our pin from Go Joe, Snake Eyes, Destro, and Scarlet. I don't know what that's from, but there were some different variants, and the we got the common one, but there were some different rare ones right there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that pin, we'll give it five dollars. And then the last item that we have is our Stefan Kapisik. I don't know how to say his name. I don't know how much his autograph costs, so let me look up what his autograph is going for. So there was also different ones that you could receive, and it looks like there was actually like a special variant one, which was only limited to 99, and that's the one that has uh, Deadpool in it. This one right here is going online, you can get it for 50 $15 with free shipping. Some people are trying to charge 35, but you can get it for 15 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that 15. I think that's pretty fair. I don't know how, I, I'm not saying that he's not important. I just don't know how, well, I don't know. There's some, you could probably give it 15 to 20, but I'm gonna give it 15 because I can literally see that I could buy it right now for $15, which is cool. All right, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $36. I forgot to show you the limited variant of the artwork is black and white. 
I actually, I really enjoy the colored versions of that, so I'm really glad that I, I didn't get the variant. This box cost $35, which means that it got $1 extra value, which, to be honest, for the band box, I'm not that surprised. That's basically what's been happening with this box for the past few months. First of all, if I had to rate this box, I probably would give this box a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. It's I like that we got an autograph and I really like the three artwork series that they did. I hope they do that again. It's actually that's probably the one thing that's really kept my attention with this box to be honest because I really enjoy that and I like that we could put all three together and actually do like you know the artwork next to each other so I'm really excited to do that. I feel like this box needs at least one more item because we're just not hitting that extra value that we need. We should be getting $11 extra value and it's just not happening. Sorry, they also have a, a giveaway that they're doing right there just in case. Autograph pop. But yeah, I'm disappointed with the value as always. I love the items that this box gives. I mean, they're a little bit random. Obviously with like the autographs and stuff, it's random. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it. But it's like weird because I like the items, I just, it never gets the extra value that we're looking for. I think this box needs to add one or two more items that would equal about $10 worth of value in order for this box to really feel like it's complete. I mean, even when you look at it, like look at this, it's, it, this box is already teeny tiny. This is not a big box and it's empty, you know, and it's because they do artwork and autographs, which I totally get. I think that's fine, but I think for, they need to add some other items that just kind of hold a stronger value. So if I had to rate this box this month, I would give this box a 3.5 out of 5 news, but I did love the Logan Pack artwork. That's probably my favorite item in the box, the 3 of 3 series. I'm really excited that I got that, and I'm excited to put them up and like next to each other and stuff, so. Yeah, and I loved Infinity War, so that's the other good thing. All right, guys, that is all I have in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go to check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? Do you think... I mean, I guess even if we were to give the autograph a little bit more value, I still think this box still falls a little bit short. But what do you guys think? Because obviously some of these things, you know, maybe they're worth a little bit more than I gave them. That could be it, too, that I just priced too low. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to Chris Culverhouse. Chris, I'm pretty sure I've given you the video shout out in the past, but you have legitimately been with me for a really, really long time. I read your comment and it was just like, you have been with me for a very, very long time. And I just want to tell you that I am super thankful of all of your support. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting me and my channel and just sticking with me for so long. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I just wanted to make sure I shared, shared my thanks shared my thanks, shared my appreciation. I don't know how you say it, but I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you and I'm so glad that you're still here. There hasn't, there's still a lot of people, I feel like there's like a small group of people that have kind of been with me like very, very, but just very long. But Chris, you're one of them and I just, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So I want to give you the video shout out. Shout out to you, Chris Culverhouse. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.